What do you know about the most powerful secret society the world has never heard of? Or how the ABC runs everything on Earth? Welcome to WordWise. I'm Nate, and today's video is about the rise of civilization and the people who are raising it, the ABC. The ABC? Why, the ABC are behind everything. In America, most people have a favorite secret society. Many people, for instance, think of the Masons who guided the steps of America's founding fathers. More recent candidates include the Federation, the Force, and, for older folks, Control. But consider the pharaohs of Egypt. Who was behind them? The Assyrians, the Mings, the Mayans? Think of the golden age of Greece, the philosophers, the poets, the mathematicians. Who was behind them? Jesus? Buddha? Ramtha? J. Smith? Peek behind the curtain and you'll find the ABC. The Illuminati? ABC. Babylon Theater? ABC. All your favorite heroes from history or the future are just characters in the real story, and we're telling the real story now. Sensational, but true. There is much to suggest that the ABC are descended from, or somehow connected to, the Angels and Aliens, or ANA, a catch-all terminology indicating extremely ancient beings who guided or even formed humanity in its earliest days. The ABC are semi-godlike beings. They can teleport, not only distance, but time. They must have got that ability from the A and A because it sounds really advanced. <laughs> they are currently everywhere and in any and all times. According to the recently unearthed Assyrian and Babylonian Chronicles, also called ABC, the ABC were known as gods of the city who oversaw the advancement of civilizations in numerous parts of the world and would meet annually in Babylon to coordinate their plans for the coming year. Groups of these assembled texts are known as ABC 1, ABC 2, and so on, up to as many as 12 at the present time. This system was championed by Midi S. Tuch of the Paris School of Cosmetology. His use of the term chronicles, however, is a an example of a common mistake of etymology among historians. The correct term should be Assyrian and Babylonian comedies and refers to the earliest versions of what we now know as the ancient Babylonian comics manual. 
known popularly as the ABC. Incidentally, the enigmatic phrase, we are gods to you, which closes most sections of the comics manual, refers to those gods of the city assembled in Babylon. Authorities suggest that the ABC may at present number only four or five, but they may have the ability to function collectively as individuals or even as groups and may have appeared as certain historical figures the better to exert their influence on history. Some speculate that Hammurabi, also known as Humor Babi, was actually a manifestation of the ABC. Maybe the ABC, when recognized, turn out not only to be the men behind the curtain, but the headliners as well. They seem to have alphabetical nicknames. The ancient metaphysicist Zoroaster even claimed ABC membership in this rhymed couplet. Since my name begins with Z, Am I the last of the ABC? <laughs> the ABC are not necessarily comics as we understand that word today. In ancient times, science, philosophy, theology, and comedy were all one thing. Then comedy was a force of nature, the opposite of gravity. Maybe comedy and gravity are like life and death. <laughs> Comics, indeed. I'll go to school for that. <laughs> How do the ABC do what they do? They do it with alchemy, specifically the alchemy of words. The ABC are spellers or workers of spells, incantations, and the like. The term ABC refers to the alphabet, which are the building blocks of the words they use in their magic. For the ABC, the raw material for alchemy is words, and the spell is this. They convince us that they are behind everything by making it so. If they say it, it is both true and actual. The ABC authored or inspired all of the magic manuals, from Genesis to Gurdjieff, the Vedas, Democritus, Jung, not to mention Plato and Aristotle. <laughs> but the most famous is the comics manual, copies of which have been found in almost every part of the world. Ben Franklin is known to have had a copy from which he quoted in Congress and at the pub. The incantations in the manual often appear as punchlines after a short setup. Maybe they didn't get the comedy, or <laughs> maybe comedy is not funny at all. That's terrible. Take it again. Casting these and hiring the extras. The ABC guides civilization via distinct pathways called the script and through careful casting. Primary roles include unsuspecting rubes, acolytes and disciples, chosen vessels. Gully of Nazareth was a prophet and a contemporary of Jesus. His encounter with the ABC, known to Gaul as the Great Man, and the revelations that followed can be found in the big book. Gali taught the secret of eternal doubt and the revelation of surprise. 
Later, Prophet Oval Rubber, a disciple of Gali, discovered confusion as the third leg of Gaulism. He first met Gali in a hot tub. <laughs> Other ABC prophets and performers include Gautama Buddha, who taught us expectation is suffering, and Lao Tzu, who said, when following the way of life, don't go straight, go forward. <laughs> Golly Jesus! <laughs> The ancient Shaolin Temple Monastery in China was apparently built by the ABC. This had a profound influence on that sect and the TV show and David Carradine. Why are you asking me about the ABC? Lao Tzu was not just a Chinese philosopher. He was one of the ABC. His book, which he supposedly wrote, I think he probably dictated it, was not, it was called the, the Tao Te Ching, generally translated as the way or the way of life. It means the comic's way or the way of comedy. Kung Fu, road of comedians. That's all I can tell you, I'm sworn to secrecy about this stuff, you know. It's not, it's not a joke, it's serious. I gotta go now. Don't ask me about this anymore. Back me and you, buddy. Where did he come from? Marco Polo was a cartier and navigator who opened the eyes of the West to Asia. As it turned out, for example, Asia is much larger than Europe. Legend has it that Polo met the ABC on the Silk Road in much the same way as they met Buddha in the Banyan Tree. The Spice Road turned out to be many roads, customs, language, goods and services, and ideas, but his greatest contribution was that he wrote a book. That's right, it was the words that changed the world. Some scholars believe Polo never even went to China, but as we know, it is true because it's in the book. As the manual tells us, saying makes it so. Other acolytes spreading the word of expanded awareness were the astronomer Capernicus, who taught that the world revolves around us, and Bizarro Superman, who showed us a world made of stone. Pythagoras was a philosopher and mathematician of the 6th century BC in Greece. He first met the ABC while running a numbers game in his head, and there learned that numbers, like the letters of the alphabet, were the building blocks of the spiritual and physical world. The ABC also taught him deductive reasoning, that accurately describing the big picture presents us with details that contain divine insights, a method we still use when taking deductions today. Even in his own village, Pythagoras was often called pre-Socratic. The ABC assembled a large cast from among the Greeks. Other performers include Protagoras, who gave us dichotomy, and Plato, who introduced transcendence also known as POV. Aristotle, who came up with the syllogism, later codified as the one, two, three doctrine. Epicurus, who showed us that pleasure is ethical. And Zeno, who tried in vain to teach us acceptance. Ben Franklin and friends were interested in having their own government and came from a long line of like-minders, including Hammurabi, Moses, and Alexander. Franklin found the ABC by reading the comics manual, which was often used in games at the pub or smokehouse. Favorite games were We're Special, Don't Tell Me What to Do, I'll Get a Place of My Own, and Mary Jane. At Samuel Adams, the beer maker. Men? We've got to get some new games. Place of my own is getting boring. That's right, John. 
We need some inspiration. Hey, are you boys talking about games? Who are you? I'm Abraham Bartholomew Cohen. But have I got a game for you? It's called My Country, My Rules. Oh, that's good. Where'd you get that from? It's right here in this book. Well, we should buy him a beer. ABC Comics Manual. Are you implying, sir, that we are comics? Barky, we are another Adams for my friend here. <laughs> Thomas, not that. Not now. That, 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 that's all right, sir. They're the same thing. Excuse me, sir, can I have this book? I'm a printer, you know. I'll trade you one of my almanacs. Okay, then. Let's play. All art involves irony. Irony is the mother of art. It comes from the act of watching oneself. We see the world by looking in. Famous ABC artists include Shakespeare, who told us all the world's a stage, Bach, Kafka, Edgar Allan Poe, whose raven sounds like an ABC transcription, <laughs> and the Beatles, who may, for a time, actually have been the ABC. These are just a few of the many characters the ABC have entered. There might have been thousands. It is important to note that all these things were happening at the same time. That's how time works with the ABC. This kind of time travel could be a dream come true for anyone and possibly marketed to vacationers. The pivotal contribution of Babylon Theater. The pivotal contribution of Babylon Theater. The pivotal contribution of Babylon Theater. In the modern age, the presence of the ABC is seen most vividly in Babylon Theater. There have been other Babylon theaters in Babylon in the late BCs. Paris in the 1800s, Berlin in the 20s, New York in the 1990s, they're all one theater, and all one time. Maybe Greg and Nolan, the founders of the modern Babylon Theater, were part of that theater in Paris, and maybe even the one in Babylon. And when they talk about the ABCs in Babylon, they are speaking from personal knowledge. Perhaps they are themselves ABCs and have been around a long time. In the Afghani trip they traverse time, space, language barriers, and the cultural norms. With the birth of DOA they literally create life out of words. And now with the 15-minute Babylon Theater Hour and Babylon EDU they have brought their esoteric knowledge to the masses. Their association with the filmmaker Fellini is an example of the wisdom and creativity of the ABC. Alla fine degli anni 60 in poi, c'erano alcune riviste europee che si concentravano su like an escalator ride. And we are all going to the next story. Hey, that's pretty good. So if I'm higher up on the escalator than you are, it's not because I got on a little sooner. That's no accomplishment. I'm just older than you are. But I'll tell you something, you hotshot Americans. And it's no, no bullshit or anything like that. I'm the one who's in awe of you. I feel like saying to you, will you please let me be your assistant so I can learn how you do what you do. I'm out of ideas. I want to learn how Nolan and Greg do it. It's magic, said Greg. Just verbal magic, that's all. I reached across the table and shook his hand. Bravo, you are wonderful. And you too, I said to Nolan, taking his hand with my other. You are Babylon Theater. 
Do you know how many people have tried to be Babylon Theater? So, why can't they do it? Because they try too hard, said Nolan. You can't try to babble on. You just do it. That's right. So let's go to my home and you can show me how you do it. I've got plenty of liquor that's already been paid for. You are approaching the surprise of your life. Pass it on. You are surprising the approach to your life. Pass it on. You're living the surprise of your approach. Pass it on. When and how did they first reveal themselves to us? For me, it was a full-blown vision. I saw the ancient Babylonian comics in all their power, saying to us, we are the keepers of the knowledge of everything. If you think that's funny, that's why we chose you. You will be our messengers. We represent the ancient Babylonian comics in this era. The ABC chose us and they named us Babylon Theater and they gave us their power, the power of words. And with that power, we created the Babelverse and we peopled it with the Theonites and we opened a refreshment stand for words. Our Babylon Theater, the ABC, we've been thinking that they chose us, but maybe we chose them because we are them and have been them during all these past events. We are doubtful and confused, but surprise is going to come. Now that we know what we know, there could be some big changes in this channel. You think the Babylon boys are just some washed up hippies? Other programs might not be ours, but they are part of the sensational tone of the times, which we are behind. We don't want your possessions. We want your soul. We're not the devil. The devil is just one of our characters. Leading you astray is our way of leading you to the truth. Learn from us and become a Babel master. master, master, master. If you'd like to learn more about the ABC, the Babelverse, or Babylon Theater, or if you'd like information about becoming a Theonite, Visit Greg and Nolan's Babylon Theater here on YouTube. Subscribe and leave a comment. Till then, I'm Nate. Bye. That's all I can tell you. I'm sworn to secrecy about this stuff, you know. It's not, it's not a joke, it's serious. Don't ask me about this anymore.